With the speed of the Flash, the strength of Superman, and a smile that could brighten an entire galaxy, Coriander is the Princess of Light. But was she always that way? What's up everybody, it's you know who, and if you have subscribed to this channel and clicked into this video, you have found yourself in Origins. This is the series where I take from a list of some of your favorite Marvel and DC characters, and I explain their origin stories in 5 minutes or less. Now this is both Marvel and DC, so these timelines are going to coexist between the DC Rebirth, the New 52, and the all new Alternate Marvel. If you guys are interested in reading up on these origins for yourselves, you can go to your local comic book store and pick up a comic. It's highly recommended. Now, our topic for today is a very, very rare origin because this is a character who has not been come across a whole lot in the DC Universe. This is none other than Coriander, or as the Earth knows her, Starfire. If you guys know anything about her origins, you'll know that she was born on the planet Tamarind with her sister Blackfire. She was a princess who came to Earth and ended up joining the Teen Titans. She's the princess of light, she's not afraid of darkness, she stands for hope, she does anything the world needs her to do. But. What was she like before she was a member of the Teen Titans? Before we start this video, I would like to say thank you personally to all of you people who have subscribed to this channel, to all of you who have given me views, to all of you who have given me likes, to all of you who have given me comments, anything, just everybody, thank you so much for all the stuff you have put into this channel. Um, I have at least 2,000 something views now on the channel, and we're coming up to 50 subscribers, which is awesome, so I want to take this time to thank each and every single one of you guys personally. Very good job. We're nailing it. Now we got to go for 100 subscribers before the end of the year, and I think we can all do it. Now, with that aside, let's go ahead and start this video and get into this origin so you guys can stop looking at my ugly mug. Our story begins with a young alien princess sitting in the lab of her older sister. The princess is telling her sister that she cannot wait for the day she rules the Tamaranian Empire for a thousand years, for on that day she will be her most loyal subject. The big sister tells her that she cannot wait for that day as well, and she commences her little sister for looking forward to her future endeavors. Jump to the present day, where Tamaran is actually being attacked by unknown alien invaders. Koi and her people try to escape, and the big sister tells everybody to get away as she tries to devise a plan to hold off these alien marauders. We soon find out that these alien invaders are called the Citadel, and they've come to claim Tamaran. They tell everyone to surrender, to which Koi yells, NEVER! WE WILL FIGHT UNTIL... But her big sister tells her to stand down if she wishes to live to fight another day. Cory and her people are taken into slavery, and the young princess is immediately subjected to experimentation that's so painful she actually passes out. These captors are attempting to learn her genetic makeup and see what it is that makes the young princess tick. Some very painful experimentations later, Cory is taken to a center coliseum where her older sister, Calm, is agreeing on a deal. A deal to have her younger sister banished right off of the face of Tamaran. Cory is devastated after hearing this news. A few days later, Cory is greeted by one of the guards who actually apologizes to her for being in this predicament. He says that someone her age should not be here running around like a slave, so he's sorry on behalf of all of his people. And she responds by punching him right through the stomach, blowing him up. Drop dead, you sanctimonious puss! See, all this time, after she found out that Blackfire had betrayed her, or Commander, Cory had grown hatred, so much so that she was actually keeping it concealed inside herself, and the one day she decided to blow up, she actually discovered one of her newest abilities, which was a plasma attack which in turn blew up the guard instantly. Of course this in turn resulted in her being beat down by the guards, but hey, at least she discovered a new power, right? In addition to her beat down, Cory is subjected to even more torture, way worse than she had anticipated before. Her hatred for her sister is the only thing that keeps her conscious. Some years later, after she's been traded to multiple different planets, she ends up landing on a slave ship called the SS Starfire. It was on this ship that she learned how to fight, years and years of training with some of her best friends that she actually made on the ship. She learned how to control her power, she learned how to harness her power, she learned she had new abilities. She learned so much stuff, and then, eventually, one day, she learned a power that could actually save her life. 
This was flight. Yes, she did it. Corey actually finally found out how to fly. She was so excited she flew away from the ship only to remember that she had to go back to save the rest of her friends who got her this far in the first place. And so she went back to save them. So she smuggled some weapons on board and gave them to her friends as a means of escape. She went to the central control room only to be confronted by the commander. He was so furious that she got off the ship in the first place and he was determined not to let her leave a second time. So she beat him down in like two seconds and then freed everyone on the ship. And so Cory finally did it! She finally escaped and got every single slave off of that ship. Everyone was so happy, they called her a hero, they remembered her all throughout the galaxy, and they even ended up naming her after the ship, Starfire. Now of course guys, this is not the end of Starfire's story, there's always the DC Rebirth where she meets the Teen Titans, where she falls in love with Nightwing, um, where she fights Superman, meets him and all that kind of stuff, that's in the DC Teen Titans Rebirth, if you guys want me to do that, I can do that on this channel as well, I think that might be fun to do and I think that might be fun for you guys to watch, so let me know if you want me to do that, just let me know in the comments, you can pick this comic book up at your local comic book store if you want to read the origin yourself, I think it might be um, better to do, rather than just listening to my annoying voice go on in the background all the time, just monologuing the entire story, but anyway, thank you guys so much for being here with me today, my name is Isaiah Chambers, stay tuned, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys next time, right here.